This RSBNB Update Nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update 733, Bone Crush Dreams. Enjoy. You know, I, I have this grand theory that we'll talk about later that um, what the whole point of this update is in terms of the agility and the hunter is that these are just ways to find uh, or ways, ways to make money with these two skills. And, you know, after the initial hype drops down, people are going to start moving away from there and you're You'll see it maybe go back up a bit. So maybe an ending price of around 30 mil or so, according to the forums that are 50 today. I always, I always find these sort of – these codexes, because it's not the first time we get ability codexes as a reward. I always find it very interesting because it never seems like it would be a sustainable thing because the – target audience for these abilities always seems to be this sort of high-level – pvm segment of players yeah and especially with sort of the influx of people trying out the content you get a pretty quick saturation of that market and after that like i feel the abilities like the, the, the market for these codexes sort of fizzles out and there might be a continuous sort of low demand but can it really sustain multiple people using this as a money-making method like that's sort of the the idea behind that i'm not sure if that works out if you look at the masterwork armor from the mining and smithing we work like there, there's a sustainable demand on that because it's not a one-time unlock you have yeah. to keep you have to keep having masterwork and yeah. these codexes like you unlock it once and you never need it again mm-hmm. how that doesn't that only is sustainable if new players get added to the market pool all the time and i'm not sure if that there's a lot of people actually coming in yeah because and... you need as many people coming into that market as you need people that use it for money making realistically so yeah and you know um the double surge double escape is no mass cab ability codex with you know corruption blast corruption shot it's not even a bladed dive from um shattered worlds so mm. it I mean there's utility behind it it's just a question of where it's going to fall and I mean hey if you're someone who is going for 120 agility and you can stand the clicking and you want to come out ahead you're probably going to choose this yeah exactly the, the question is like in the process of going to 120 like how many of these codexes do you add to the market and that's that many fewer people that need the codexes from then on yeah yeah um, though, I mean, you're going to have to look and say, just looking at the peer opportunity cost on this in terms of money making, um, let's say you're, you're going for the one that you're going to sell. That's going to take you around 8.8 hours to do. Mm. And if it's going, for, let's just say it's going for something conservative of 50 million today, that's, you know, still 5.6 million an hour training agility. Mm. If we take that down to 20 mil, then that's still 2.2 mil an hour training agility. Yeah. So it's a question of if you, if you want to click for it or not. Yeah. And this I is with so. my slow rate. If you can be more efficient, you're going to be better. Sure. It's just like I, I find it interesting that rewards get added to the game that – I mean I'm, I'm jumping ahead on what you're going to say. Like – like they're adding money making methods to the game, but these money making methods feel based on something that isn't sustainable as source of money. Because you unlock it once, you can't lose it to dying, you can't lose it to like charges. It's just you unlock it and you have it for the rest of your account's life. Yeah. No questions. And and, asked. and there's a permanent there's a permanence of it, you know? It doesn't degrade. Yes. Um, so that's sort of like, should permanent items like that ever be relied on to make something profitable? You know, if they were really wanting to make this a little bit more sustainable, they could have had... Um, I'm, I'm, someone's going to shoot me for saying this, but they could have had an ability that you need to recharge by adding more pages to it somehow. Exactly. exactly. And it wouldn't have needed to be, you know, 500 pages. It could have been 50. Mm-hmm. 
And, you know, that's kind of what they did with uh, with the Telos, or sorry, not the Telos, the Solak drop. I forget its exact name, but that's the change they ended up having uh, to do with those grimoire pages from yeah, Solak. Exactly. Yeah. 